Hi everyone, my name is Daryl and welcome back to another Gran Turismo 7 video. In today's video, we are doing a tune to another of the classic prototype cars in the Nissan R92CP. This car is based on the R90C platform and competed in endurance races such as Le Mans and Daytona for the 1992 season. I really like the handling and performance of the prototype cars and this one is no different. It has the power and handling that is suitable for the 800pp races like Sardinia which is by far one of the most efficient ways to farm credits in the game. I will be adding a link to the other tunes I did for prototype cars in the description below so you can check out all the other cars that I used to regularly race in the 800pp races. Before we get into the video, if you're new to the channel or have not subscribed yet, please click on that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our future GT7 videos. And if you like this tuning content, click on the like button and leave a comment on what you think about this tune or if you have any requests for tunes um, to be featured in this channel. I'd love to hear from you guys on what cars you also raise in GT7. So let's go to the auto shop to uh, purchase the parts that we need for this. For the extreme, I did not get anything. For the racing, I got the racing suspension, um, customizable transmission, and also the racing hard tires. For the semi-racing, the medium RPM turbo is optional, but I did get the cost fully customizable LSD. And also, you will need the power restrictor and the ballast as part of this build. So for the tune, um, this will be a racing hard tire based build. The R92 CP comes with the medium tires, but we will be using hard tires for the longevity. So you have to increase your body height to the maximum as um, for front and rear, and I adjusted the roll bar. You can follow along or pause the video at any time. So, so after adjusting the anti-roll bar, we will adjust the dampening ratios, natural frequency and the negative camber and the toe angle so those are basic tunes that i have been doing um, for all the cars and this is based on experience with all the prototype cars for the differential that is tuned to your preference so what i do with this one is set the power restrictor to around six the 600 range um so as you see that's 631 then I put my um, ballast to the max first then adjust the ballast position for um, to put all the weight in front I, I find that putting all my ballast in the front helps me with turning then I adjust the, um, the ballast to the right position or to the right weight to achieve um, my initial um, tuning for this car the last one I would adjust would always be the top speed which I would in for Sardinia it's always 300 to 90 the lowest I'd go is 270 with the automatic um, top speed so that's my easy tune for this one. Again, this is um, not a turbo based build and will be based on the racing hard tires. So let's get on with the pit strategies. So for the fuel strategy, we are using fuel map one so that you will have enough power. As you can see, this is a very fuel efficient car and will last you around, I believe nine laps before you have to pit. So this is a one stop pit strategy for the R92 CP and with this car you will have really um, nice handling so you have to take advantage of that 
um, my strategy would always be to brake a little bit later and corner a little bit tighter with this car so that I would get overtaking opportunities against the competition. This car has enough power so that you can overtake most of the pack and will be up front by the 4th or 5th lap. And also, as always, I am running this tune on automatic transmission. If you are new to the channel, I usually upload my videos on automatic transmission to help new Gran Turismo 7 players and also those who just want to have an easier time with um, grinding credits. So automatic transmission, even with the automatic transmission, you will be overtaking cars and winning this race easily. But of course, if you choose to do manual transmission, you will be a lot faster. I have sub 1 minute 40 laps on this car on manual transmission. I usually just run my first few races and my tunes with the automatic so that I can focus on dialing in my tunes. So let's fast forward to the pits. So I am pitting at the end of lap 9. So effectively that's before the start of lap 10. And as you can see I have barely any fuel left. So I did not change um, the racing hard tires. As you can see the wear is very minimal on the hard tires. And this hard tires will last you through the race. That will save you a, a bit of time, uh, uh, I think 4 seconds of um, pit stop. Then I fuel to the diamond marker. Um, that will be enough for us to finish this race. And as you can see after the pits, I am 45 seconds above my competition in an automatic. In the manual transmission, you will be um, lapping cars by this point. So fast forward to the end of the race, we are over a minute over the competition and this is just a, uh, one of my first runs. I will end this one at um, 27 minutes. So I did sub um, low 26 minutes with this car on manual transmission and even in automatic you can get lower than 27 minutes per race and get your 727,000 credits. So this is the final turns. Just remember with Sardinia, you will lose your clean race bonus if you overtake during a red flag. So be careful, especially in the last few laps of the races. The AI tends to make mistakes as the tire wear uh, makes handling difficult for them. So watch out for yellow flags so that, so that you don't lose out on those clean race bonuses. So I guess that's it for the tune. As you can see we are um, uh, over a minute above the competition and will be finishing as usual in first place. So try this tune out if you have this car. I know a lot of people bought this car but did not actually do a tune so this is a very good car to drive as well as the others like the Mazda 787 or CLK LM and also the um, Tomahawk GR1 so those are the, the cars I like and this one is no different from those prototype cars so leave a comment below if you've done this tune and what you think can be improved in this tune i'd love to hear the results of your tuning of this car my next video will be for the ford mark 4 for the lemma 700 race and i will also be having the bmw mclaren f1 race car as my next videos those two are also my favorite cars so if you have not subscribed yet please click on that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on those videos
So that's it for this tuning video. Once again, my name is Daryl and thank you for hanging out with me in this tune. And I will see you in my next video. Keep safe and drive safe.